Do you have a hard time figuring out your stats? Not sure what they do? Well hang out and I'll tell you everything you need to know about stats in EverQuest 2. The first stat we'll talk about is health. It's based off of your stamina and to a lesser degree your level. Followed up is health regen. Health regen ticks every 6 seconds. So the number you see is the percentage you will get on a 6 second tick. Power is based off your primary stat and power regen is based off of 6 second tick as well. Speed is based off of your mount and upgrades you have as well as totems. Your regens and speed will lower during combat. Status is a currency you use to buy things. Your primary attribute will be different depending on your class. It affects your damage, heals, and your power. Stamina is your ability to shrug off harmful spell effects and affects how much health you have. Your resistance affect how much you will reduce incoming damage based on that resistance type. Mitigation is like your armor class in any other game. Avoidance is your ability to dodge or avoid getting hit. And block chance is your chance to block an attack. Uncontested block is your chance to block a strike through. Crit chance is your ability to crit. Anything over 100 makes you crit at a higher level. Crit bonus adds to that crit. Potency multiplies everything that you calculate by that percentage. Fervor modifies everything at the end by this percentage. Resolve is a gatekeeping number to allow you to participate in high-end dungeons and raids. Having more than you need will not make you do any damage, but having less than you need will make you do significantly less. To figure out how much resolve you need, click on a boss and look at one of its buffs and it'll tell you the resolve requirement. Ability mod modifies the number shown on an ability by that number. Hate mod is your ability to increase your hate on each attack or taunt by that percentage. Reuse speed speeds up your reuse time on abilities by that percentage. Nothing over 100 matters. Casting speed allows you to cast faster by that percentage. Nothing over 100 matters either. Recovery speed is the amount of time it takes in between abilities to cast. This is only upgraded by alternate advancement abilities at this time. Spell Reuse Speed and Spell Double Cast are no longer used, but can be gained by AA abilities. They are replaced instead by Ability Double Cast, which allows you to cast abilities twice. 100 is what you want to shoot for, but for raids you'll need 226 due to a 126 reduction spell that the boss cast. These abilities are calculated in the following order. First, the spell is cast. If the boss has a resolve requirement, that will be calculated first. The reuse time and casting speed are affected on the front end and back end of this spell. And if you have it, recovery time takes effect too. Ability mod is then added to the spell's damage. Your spell is then multiplied by your potency. It then checks to see if you have a crit. It will check to see what level crit you have if you're over 100%. This one is kind of a dice roll and just allows you to get those and not do them every time. Crit bonus is then applied to the crit. All of those numbers are then multiplied by the fervor. All of this will be applied and then calculated based on the enemy's defenses. Auto attack skills are pretty much not usable at the moment due to a change they made in how auto attack works. DPS kind of works like potency for auto attack. It multiplies the raw number by a percentage. Haste affects how fast your auto attack will go off. Multi attack works like ability double cast and allows you to double strike on an auto attack. AE auto attack allows you to attack enemies that are adjacent to each other. Strike through allows your auto attack to hit even if the boss blocks the attack. Accuracy is your ability to hit with an auto attack. 15% is pretty much all you need. Flurry works like fervor for your auto attack and multiplies all of the numbers by that percentage. Flurry multiplier multiplies the flurry percentage by that amount. Weapon damage bonus ups the base damage that is calculated before DPS. Auto attack is calculated in the following order. Haste is how fast your weapons are moving. Accuracy, strike through, and AE auto attack say who you're going to hit and if you hit. Weapon damage bonus is applied to the hit. Then, multi-attack is applied, followed by DPS, and then flurry. Then, flurry multiplier multiplies that flurry. None of this matters for spells or abilities. 
Thank you for watching. Please remember to like, subscribe, or follow if you enjoy the content. Also, here's some other videos you might find interesting. If you'd like to support my work, please consider donating, buying some merchandise, or join Patreon. Thanks.